Hey guys, it's John and welcome back to Blind Bloodborne. This is part 19. In the last video, we went through, I believe, the majority of the Nightmare of Mensis. And we confronted Mikolash, host of the Nightmare, and beat his sorry butt. And now, in this video, we're gonna continue through the DLC. I have the Astral Clock Tower key, and I'm ready to find out what's beyond it. We also did some Chalice Dungeon stuff in the last video. I think I finished out Lower Tumeru. And I've decided that maybe I'm not gonna go through all the Chalice Dungeon stuff in this playthrough. Because from what you guys said in the comments, it's kind of optional, like mega optional stuff. So uh, I'm not really gonna mess with it in this playthrough, but I don't know, I might do some stuff on Twitch, some New Game Plus stuff maybe. Because from what I understand, the Chalice Dungeon bosses don't uh, scale with New Game Plus, so it seems like you're kind of intended to go about that um, in the new game. But anyway, let's see what happens when we hold up the Celestial Dial. Nice. Okay, so is it my- wait, am I supposed to be seeing something, like, from afar? Okay, we can actually go through it. Alright. Ooh! Swampy, I like it. Oh, I recognize these ships. Remember when we went through the Nightmare Frontier? And I saw these in the background? That must be where we are now. Thanks for the lead elixir. Okay. You can still see the moon? Yeah, that's gotta be where we are. So that means that Nightmare Frontier is like up there. I don't see any other like mountainous terrain around this. Cool beans. Madman's knowledge. Do we really need any more madman's knowledge? By the rat of Mother Cos, or as some would say, Cosm. For the poor was a child. Mercy. Oh, please. Mercy for the poor child. So are you gonna attack me? I mean, I guess this is a good time to find out. Okay, he's just- he's just a madman. Okay, I can't help but notice there's like barnacles everywhere here. But he's not hostile. Fishing Hamlet. Okay. Oh yeah. Is this a big old eel? Right here? Oh. It's a big old fish. Okay. Let's get this. Somebody strung up upside down. It wouldn't be a video game if there wasn't at least one person strung up upside down. What the hell is that? That's a big thing in there. <laughs> okay. Oh, hello. Okay, I'm guessing you're hostile, huh? Nice. I got one better. Okay. Oh no, they're just these things. That guy that I saw earlier? Oh, yeah. They looked a lot bigger inside. Well, cool. This is nice. Ooh. I like that I can basically take them out in two hits. Alright. There's a lot of these guys. They're basically like Yarnamites. <laughs> They're fishing Hamlet Yarnamites. Let's go up there, there's a green thing. Hello? Yo, what's this all about? Is this like an explosive or what? Okay, I'm gonna guess that we can't hit it. Tempering damn blood gem six, I'll take it. Ugh. Pile of bodies, uh, oh, there's up there. How do I get up there? I 
Okay, we can get up there somehow. I want to figure out how to do that. What is all that? I don't think so. Yeah, I, I'm sorry, but I don't think so. I, I'm not gonna... <laughs> enough with the Martyr Logaria shit, you know? Wow, you got me good. And you killed me. Okay. I definitely shouldn't underestimate these guys. I think I pretty much did, like, the exact thing that you weren't supposed to do. <laughs> I did, th I made three bad decisions in a row, and it resulted in my doom. Okay, so there's actually a shortcut over here, just right by the lamp. Here's the lamp. There's the shortcut. So we need to figure out how to get to that ladder. That's first order of business, pretty sure. So which one of y'all has my blood echoes? Is it you? Uh, what? Okay, get out. Okay, what the hell? You got my blood echoes. There we go, okay. Big dumb, <laughs> big dumb fish guy, huh? You. Whoa. You've got a lot of H, you've got a lot of HP. Okay, if you'll excuse me. How are you, you had like a sliver of health? Oh my God. Whoa. I don't like this dude. I'm gonna need you to stop. Oh my god, you can't be serious. He killed me. He's he's swallowing me whole. He swallowed me whole. What is it about him that looks so smug? I think it looks like he's got a big grin on his face. He's just like, I hate you. Okay, I've switched to Ludwig's. Like, no offense to Whirligigsaw, but I was noticing that sometimes with Whirligigsaw... Oh, you can go down there. Maybe in a little bit. I was noticing with Whirligigsaw that, um... Look, he's waiting! That it was leaving them with like a little bit of health. After two hits. Okay. Look, he's waiting. He's waiting. It's an ambush. It's a scripted ambush. Oh my god. Oh, you're a different. You're a different kind. Oh my god. Okay. Yeah, bro. Goodbye. Okay, so like, are these explosives? Oh! I kicked his ass! Unfortunately, now I don't really know how to fight against him if I run into another one. <laughs> but I killed him! I killed him with one Molotov, so these are explosives. Got it. I'm sorry. Who? Oh, it's you, really. Oh, wow. Ludwig's blade, untransformed, actually leaves them with a sliver of health. Okay. Two. Come on. You fell for my trap. Run. Ooh. So there's another one throwing Molotovs back there. Oh, 
That's what I thought. So how did these guys get this way? You know? How'd they get like this? Because they're clearly, like, mutated and deformed and... They got barnacles growing on them. Odd fire damp blood gem. That would be nice to have. If I had an arcane build. I'm thinking, you know what? I'm already thinking about, like, second playthrough. I'm thinking, like, an arcane build would be really fun. Are you still alive? Yes, you are. Okay. Goodbye. You know, like, going with, uh, I don't know, the flame sprayer, doing, like, fire bolt gems. It seems like every other enemy is weak to bolt or fire damage, so you could just swap them out. Whatever you were in the mood for. If you were going to get up against a beast, you could do fire damage. Going up against, uh, kin, is it? You could do bolt. Okay, I think we're all done here. There's... Wait, is that... You guys told me these are called Winter Lanterns. No. No, it's not. Oh my god. He's throwing harpoons. Those, uh, those tentacled bug-eyed things in the Nightmare Immensus. Those are called Winter Lanterns. I don't know why. Oh, what's up? Bitch. Ugh. Wow. Should I go this way? Oh. So what was that? Are you just a dog? You're just like a weird fish dog. Oh my god, it's got like an angler fish face. Look at that. That's cool. Thank you. So is this like a... Is this town basically like Innsmouth? Are they fishmen? Oh my god. Due to like some kind of curse or... Kind of seems like it. If I just had to guess. I mean, everybody in Yarnum is cursed too, right? So it would... It would stand to reason. That the people in the fishing hamlet would be cursed too. You know, this kind of... This kind of gives me like Hemwick Charnel Lane vibes. Except it's got a different, um, oh, what do you call it? Color palette. Are you, are you kidding me? I don't think so. Oh my god, oh my god. Okay, I gotta figure out how to fight this guy. Okay. So, he fights a little bit differently with a weapon. I almost... I almost dodged into his blow, which would have been bad. I actually think transformed might be better here. Oh my god. Wow. Okay. Yeah, we can we can handle this though. Wow. I kind of lost track of where I was. I was dodging so much. So this guy's kind of he he kind of reminds me of the undead giant a bit. Um just in the move set. Maybe I should try to treat him like the undead giant. Okay, L2? L2 with the transformed Ludwig uh, blade seems to be the key there. L2, uh, so the plan with the Molotov didn't work? <laughs> um, let's, oh hi. 
Kin Cold Blood. Oh. There we go. Man, just running around smacking everything with Ludwig's Blade. Like, let's go, you know? So yeah, because I was able to stagger the big guy with this, and that is huge. Here we go. Get out. Please get up. Wow, okay. Let's see if we can stagger this guy too. Okay, here we go. Okay, I, I dodged too early. Second time in a row I've died to this guy. I dodged too early, so that was not good. <laughs> oh, you can go up right here. Oh, nice! Great One's Wisdom. Okay, I think this is how I get to the ladder that I can drop down, right? Oh, it's right here. It's right here. Okay. Kick down ladder. So now I can take a little shortcut. Nice. It's not much of a shortcut, if I'm being honest. You basically can skip the big guy if you just, I guess if you just sprint through here. That's what I would guess. There's also, there's something up there. I'm hoping to get to it. I, are those an instant kill? They really feel- there's so much wind-up to them, they feel like an instant kill. I haven't gotten hit by one yet, but I dread to think what will happen if I do. I feel like it's gonna take away literally all my health. Okay. That's- that's some shit right there. That's like... That's so mean. Okay. Okay, let's uh, let's keep him close. Not that close. Okay, I did stagger him. Jeez. I hate this guy. Yeah. Okay, we finally killed him. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Let's check out what's over here. There's a thingy up here. Bloodstone Chonk. Thank you, thank you. I should probably try to get a third weapon to plus nine. They've been they've definitely given me enough chonk to do that. So I should consider it. I just don't know what weapon to do that with. Next uh next lamp that we get to, I'll I'll have to figure that out. Okay. So this is where the guy was sitting. And then here is a cool little lighthouse. <gasps> and here... What was that? Did I hear something? Here is another lantern is what I was gonna say. Let me guess, locked. Doesn't open from the side. No, that's totally... Understandable, I get it. Wait, what? Who are you? Oh! <gasps> Afraid I've it's this guy made a bunch of things. The guy that was constantly lecturing us. Oh, I can hear the bell now. The beast hide assassin. He's after me. Again. And again. It never ends. 
Uh. The beast hide assassin. Please. I need you to do something. Anything. Name it. This village is the true secret. Really? Testament to the old sins. Really? It feeds this hunter's nightmare. Please. Bring to an end the horror. So our forefathers sin. We hunters cannot bear their weight forever. It isn't fair. It just isn't fair. So can I kill you? Oh, he, he gave up the ghost anyway. Simon's bow blade, underground cell, inner chamber key. I've been wondering about this. I was just thinking about the guy that was like, can you hear the bell? <laughs> and then I was like, no, and then he was like, see ya. But, this is it, we can go back. Key to the inner cell of the cell, uh, whatever. Words. The innermost chamber of the underground cell holds a lone madman. He wears a beast hide and rings a bell that emits no sound. Wait, that's who he's talking about. Oh, so we've already met the beast hide assassin. Unending death awaits those who can hear the soundless bell. Okay. Cool, and then Simon's bow blade, that's a weapon, right? Here it is. So it's an arc, no? It's, it's a skill slash blood tinge weapon. Okay. Choice weapon of Simon. So we finally know who that, who that person is. One of the first healing church hunters. Simon despised firearms, and so the church workshop had this specially fashioned to his liking. The large curved blade served as a bow when transformed. But aside from a few close friends, Simon was scoffed at for his choice of arms. For who would dare face the beast with a measly bow? Well, I mean, maybe they're right to scoff at him, because look at him now. Come on. Okay, but well, can we go inside the lighthouse? Oh, we can go this way. Yeah, this place really reminds me of Hemwick. I thought I heard a bell. I was like, is that a chime maiden? Okay. Wow. It is, there is a chime maiden. Okay, uh, well, goodbye. Oh my god, bloodied armbands. Hello. <laughs> Bolt damp blood gem, okay. Uh, hard to tell where I'm supposed to go here? What the hell? Okay, I guess I'll just... I don't know. Blood vial, oil urn, thanks. What are you guys doing exactly? Eating snails? Having some escargo? What, you a wizard? Ooh, I grabbed my Roman wizard hat. Oh, you must roll a d20. Okay. All right, yeah, I need to use my gun, huh? So, I don't want to fall down there. Oh, there's like a f ew, weird thing. Couple weird things, like little parasite dudes. Huh. Okay, this opened up, so. I'm back out here. Well, hello. Bro. I'm not about that. Two on one? Not fair. Shit. King Coldblood. I'll take it. I'll take free blood echoes, blood points. Do I hear... Oh! Oh! Wait, where am I? Oh, I'm on the other side. 
I came in over here. So I just made a big circle. And this still doesn't open. Okay. Oh. Sorry, I went back here because I remembered. I bet this goes to it. Hold that thought. Ooh. Harrowed hood, garb, gloves, and trousers. And tempering damp blood gem. Uh, I remembered, yes! That there was something that I couldn't reach earlier. Oh, it's just a bloodstone chunk. I can't believe I'm saying that. How times have changed, right? I just remembered, and, and I kept, I remembered also that I heard some dudes in a building that I couldn't tell where they were coming from, and that was them. Okay. That was gonna bug me. I think it's fair to say I've 100 percented this first, uh, first bit. Pre-second lantern. So I'm gonna go back and, uh, mop up some more enemies, I think? Oh! Oh, what is that? That's a big thing, isn't it? I wonder if I can get down there at some point. See it up close. So there is a chime maiden around here somewhere, and it's gonna drive me nuts if I can't find them. Yeah, let me scale down this ladder. Cause there's- there's stuff down here, and I need to check out what that stuff is, you know? First let's go in here. Oh, really? <laughs> Awfully casual. Oh, I already killed that guy. <laughs> he fell down here after dying. It's so cool that I got to see the ships up close, I was not expecting that. Cause I remember seeing that from Nightmare Frontier and being like, oh, those look creepy. Then again, in Nightmare Frontier, they looked like they were a lot more closely populated than they are. Like, they looked like they were right next to each other. They also looked like the... Um, looked like they were a lot higher than they ended up being. Hello. Dude, if... If there's just a bunch of you flunkies out here, and none of the big whale guys, like, I hate to say it, but y'all are screwed. I'm gonna literally slaughter every single one of you. Remorseless. Remorseless. Tireless. Rampage. Oh! Holy shit! That scared the fuck out of me. Oh my god. And, and for what? For three chonk? For triple chonk? I only want that in my ice cream. Oh my god. Quintuple chonk. Okay, so there's... Actually... This is kind of interesting. I wonder if I can pull off a shady... Sort of maneuver here. Well, hmm. I was gonna try to get those exploding things, but... There we go! There's just a lot of them right there. There's just a lot of them right there. Oh my god. He had my blood echoes, so I got him back. Very lucky that they, like, aren't down there. And actually, I kind of wonder... Oh my god. 
That was what... That was what you're supposed to do. Look at that. I got three of them, just like that. Okay, I'm gonna go down this ladder. But, like, when those guys are gone. When they get out of here. Because they have a long... No, stop. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, I've got I've got Ludwig's blade in transformed mode, okay? It's too good. I can't give it up. I can't get up to be like, "Oh, I guess I'll uh bring out the revolver." Whoop him. So sorry, I don't use Quicksilver bullets as often as a lot of other people. Shouldn't that make it all the more impressive that I'm doing just fine here? That I'm not parrying and I'm just basically, uh... You can't be serious, bro. What the hell? They acted like they didn't see me. This cleaver. This cleaver dude, not messing around. And the bloodstone chunk. Okay, I get it. I'll find a third weapon and get it to plus nine. <laughs> How far out there can I go? I'm guessing there's like a... I think it drops off right here. I feel like that's an instant. Look, look, it drops off into like the abyss. No way. No way. I'm not doing that. Also, what's this though? Oh, hello. I'll take this. Where is that coming from? Is it up there? Where's that bell coming from? All right, prepare to die. Okay. As it turns out, As it turns out, you're a little tougher than I gave you credit for. But you still die. What is that weapon you have? I kind of want it. Beast Hide Garb. So this is the Beast Hide Assassin. By the way, that's the guy that's hunting me. All right. I still hear the bell. So do I go... Three blood vials, really? Alright. So I go towards where I hear the bell, and then I face off against the beast hide hunter, and then what? It unlocks something cool? Oh my god, I didn't even- What, you were just here the whole time, just hiding out, hoping that I wouldn't notice you? Well, I noticed! I'm very thorough, in case you didn't know. Ooh, hello. Six blood vials. They are really overloading me with blood vials. Not that I mind that much, but you know. Oh, okay. So. I was just saying, oh, I see. This leads back out here. <laughs> Excuse you? <laughs> That's 120, that's 120k blood echoes there on the ground. I don't so much like that. Wow. Okay, damn, I get it. Fuck. 
<laughs> it's out this way, right? I was right. I was right here. Oh my god, who's got my blood echoes? Oh. Okay, over there. Yeah. I don't think so. Out of my house. Out of my house. Okay. So what's over here? <laughs> Bolt damp blood gem. Okay. Okay. That's kind of difficult to say, but all right. And we go down here. Oh my god. Sorry to interrupt your uh, working down here or whatever, but yeah. Yeah, what are you guys doing exactly? All right, let's keep going. Bolt damn blood gem six. Oh wait. Oh. So it doesn't go down any further. Oh, 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 oh. Here we go, here we go. This is it. Hello, I am here. Ooh, look at all these like fish eggs and shit. Gross. Oh my god. Oh no. Okay, I think there are a ridiculous number of these. Wow, and they only yield like 400 blood echoes each. So maybe not worth killing, especially since they're so slow, but wow. Okay, so this is the fishing part of the fishing hamlet. <laughs> because up until now, there wasn't a whole lot of fishing, but they're, they're getting these guys, huh? Look, they turn back around. Okay. No, bro, it makes sense. Twin bloodstone shards, are you kidding me? At this point? At this point, bro? Uh, what? What's some chonk? Okay. Uh, how did... It's my adoring fans. My public. They're really desperate to get backstage. So when they're not restricted by their shell, they're a little crazier. I'm just killing, I'm killing you out of principle, you see? You understand? <laughs> All right. So what about this? Wow. Look at these, look at these tunnels. Oh my God. Wow. Okay, I've got to do strong attacks because the weak attacks or the light attacks, whatever, they don't do enough damage. I don't think so. It's this guy again. Okay, got you a third time, bro. How many more times are you gonna try this? Bloody trousers. Am I just slowly... Am I just slowly getting your entire set? Anyway, wait, what did I just get? Ah, uh, whatever. It was just more items. I should probably try to get back to the lamp, maybe, or maybe there's another one coming up. If I, if I detect...
If I detect that there's a boss, though, uh, we're heading out. We're heading out of here. Wow. You really took your... Sweet time, huh? Madman's knowledge. Do I look like I need more insight? <laughs> Kim Coldblood. Okay, who was... Who was throwing those guys out? Those purple skulls. Oh my god. The, I hear a winter lantern. I hear... A winter lantern. Should I go down there? Okay. Wow. I'm guessing I don't go down there, huh? Great One's Wisdom. Oh. Y'all alright? Oh. Uh... Okay. Yeah, okay, so, so, boss is there. Okay. Understood. The last time I saw this happen, uh, it was outside Abrita's Daughter of the Cosmos. Wait, there's a ladder here. Oh. Oh, shit. Yeah, let's go. Whoa. Cursed Kin Hunter's Damp Blood Gem 6. Whoa. I thought this was just a bottomless pit. Thank you. Thank you for telling me. Okay, where is this Winter Lantern? Okay. Oh my god, there's a second one! Oh, there are two! There were two! Should I be lame? I should be a lame cheeser and just sit here until it goes all the way down, right? I've got 140k blood echoes. I can't leave these. I can't. I can't miss them. Oh, what is up? What is up? Curse tempering damp blood gem. Thank you. Nope. You're gonna stop. You're gonna stop. Okay. I had to be very, very careful there. Wait, there was more. There was stuff over here, wasn't there? Okay. Oh, hello. Tempering Damn Blood Gem 5. King Cold Blood 11. I see one of these guys down here. <gasps> oh, like hell, I'm going in there. <laughs> I'm turning back around. I don't think so. What's this way? I mean, we might go in there. Another Winter Lantern? Oh, no, there's just a bunch of these guys. Oh, hi. Do you give frenzy? Nah. I just want to make sure. Okay, wow. <gasps> Look, they're up there. Look, they act like I don't see them. Oh my god. Yeah, I'd like to see you strike me with lightning inside the cave. Oh my god. He... Oh my god. Oh my god, he tried to. The nerve. The nerve of this dude. Okay. Oh, you want to play hardball? Oh, we can play hardball. Look at this. Oh. So smug, huh? Did I get you guys? Okay. Stop trying to give me quicksilver bullets. For the love of God. Oh, hi. There we go. Two blood vials. I think this is the most blood echoes I've ever had, and I'm gonna be so... 
pissed if I lose them. Let's scout out ahead. What do we see here? Okay, we see another one of those guys. Uh, what else do we see? Any big... Any big guys? That's really what I'm... What I'm after. Okay, let's go. Okay. Oh my god. Okay, come on. You're the last ones to die. I think, in this area. I don't see anybody else that needs to die. We're at the bottom- we're- we're- we're, we're at the bottom of where we were earlier. Odd bolt damp blood gem, that's good, that's good. A second blood rock. I'm gonna use it. I'm gonna use it on Whirligig Saw, I think. Get a plus 10 Whirligig Saw? Like, thank you. And I think that's all that's down here. Okay, I'm wondering something here. Here's what I'm wondering. Cause this is intimidating to say the least. Cause there's two of them. But there's also a ladder. Which interests me a lot. I'm wondering if I drop down, if I'd be able to make it to the ladder. Because I want to see where that goes. Okay. Okay, that was way easier than I thought. Which, by the way... Wow. That's... That's intimidating. Oh my god. We're back here! It was- I forgot- I completely forgot about that! I completely forgot. Wow. I completely forgot about that, uh, that well that I didn't go in. Oof. Oh man, it's too bad I didn't go down the well from topside. That would have been a really interesting surprise. <laughs> Can you imagine me slowly going down the ladder and then like hearing the thing on the ceiling and turning my camera around and just seeing it staring at me? This would be my face. And then I'd go back up the ladder. That's probably what I would do. Um, so I've got like a ridiculous amount of blood echoes. Let me see if I can get... Okay, so I can get two strength. Let's get two strength. And then... Farewell, good hunter. But wait, before we do a third upgrade, because I got a ton of blood echoes. Like, I got a ton of cold blood that I can do. Uh, let's just go ahead and do this. Where is it? Whirling saw plus nine? Let's make this a plus ten. I am totally down with that. Um, oh, I keep forgetting that to use Logarius' wheel, which I am interested in, I do need two arcane. So I'm actually, maybe I should get two arcane, just so I can use Logarius' wheel. I feel like that might be fun. Speaking of fun, I'm about to pop all these. How many do I get from this? 50k? That'll do it. That'll do it. Let's get this. 64k? Well, this is definitely enough. But well, let's get this too. Nice, bro. Okay, 156k? That's enough to get two arcane for sure. Very well. The reason I want to get Logarius's wheel is because it's very interesting to me. This will take me to level 100. That it it has such good strength scaling. Well, good hunter. So I really wanna I really wanna upgrade it. Let's use let's get Logarius's wheel up to plus nine. I'd like to try it out. Let's see if we can fortify it with something that'll help. Let's see. Physical attack plus thirteen point seven. That's you know what? That is not bad at all. That's a total of five hundred and one physical attack. And right now my Ludvigs 
has almost 600. Okay, so Logarius' wheel, not really even in the same wheelhouse. <laughs> Sorry. As uh, Ludwig's. All right. Ooh -hoo -hoo. Look at that. That's stylish. Whoa, it's slow. That's the light attack. That's the strong attack. What's the charge look like? Oh my god, yeah, I mean, hitting someone with a big old wheel, that would take some damage, wouldn't it? Alright, what's the L2? Oh, okay, right. What's the transformed? So it does what? Extra arcane damage? What's the L2 do? That's it, by the way. You, you just spin it. The L2 is you just spin the wheel. That's interesting. I kind of want to try it out. All right, I want to try out the wheel, and I also want to see... Oh my god. I was about to say, I also want to see if I can use this, um... <laughs> this key. Sorry, I'm speaking in... incomplete senses. So what does that do? Oh my god. Look at you. I will say... I will say that this uh, wheel is pretty slow. another weapon to plus nine. I figured the wheel would be good. I don't actually really like it that much. Um, my, I mean, probably the first enemy that I use it on being a hunter isn't, isn't the best decision. So maybe that's why. Um, but yeah, I think for now, let's just, uh, let's just go with the cheapy. <laughs> Old cheapy. I wonder how Ludwig would feel to hear his little baby being called that, huh? But I mean, check this out. Oh my god. Look at you. You shouldn't be backing up like that. There we go. I mean, what else do you call it? Come on. Oh, you guys are already dead. Braider's testimony. Okay, before I move on, let's take a look at what we just procured. Braider. Where are you? Okay, well, first of all, this was part of it. Blade armbands. Braider donned a compatriot's... Compatriot. Compatriot's beastly scalp and hide while still moist with blood. Most of the blood stains on this hide were from that day. Beast hide garb. Um, the bloodied hide of a horrible cleric beast. Pulled over the back. Without the attached beast hide, this foreign garb wouldn't raise anyone's eyebrows. Braider donned a compatriot's beastly scalp and hide while still moist with blood. Right. Braider's testimony. The scalp of a horrible cleric beast indicating that Hunter Braider... A healing church assassin had killed a compatriot. Afterward, he wore his ally's own scalp and hid himself away deep below in a cell. The church provided him with a single soundless bell of death to ensure their secrets would be kept. I see. This is just bloodied foreign trousers. Okay. Uh, cool. Well, it's open now, actually. So even though I had the key, it's just open now. Oh, sorry. No, I still... Still got the key. Well, well. Look who's here. Hello. Welcome to my quarters. I've never entertained a guest before. Okay. You're not entertaining me. Are you going to kill me? Yes. 
After all, you don't kill me. As if to right your wrongs. I don't want to be lectured <laughs> by you. Should I start attacking? So anyway, I started blasting. That's what I want to do right here. What is it? Aren't you going to kill me? Are you, are you going to fight back? Or perhaps beg my forgiveness. Beg your forgiveness? Well, leave off. Nothing changes. Such is the nature of man. Beg your forgiveness. No, you beg for my forgiveness. Right, what do you got? Blood letter. Ooh, is this your weapon? Because, dude, I would love to use that weapon. That looks cool. Where is it? Oh, here it is. So this is a blood tinge weapon, interestingly. The demented hunter weapon brandished by Brader, the healing church assassin. The blood letter assumes its true and terrifying form after it draws upon blood from the inner reaches of one's body and soul. Sounds pretty pretentious. This is the only effective means of expelling tainted blood, or so Brader, isolated in his cell, continued to believe. I see. You're kind of nuts. Kind of nuts. And that's all that was in here. Okay. There's actually... There's actually a couple things that I want to wrap up while I'm out here. Just a couple things. Um... There's, there's a cave that I never went in, way back here. And I think there's also, like, one other thing that I haven't done. So, maybe I can do that. Actually, uh, in real time, I have to go and do something. But, so, so, when I cut to the next part, it'll be hours later. So, apologies if I, a little disheveled. Maybe I'm wearing a different shirt, who knows. Oh, I found this out. So this happened in the last video. The reason that the doll isn't animated uh, is because I have zero insight. So, interesting. Hey guys, it's John. I'm back. Uh, so I'm gonna go back through some of the areas that I haven't 100%ed yet and 100% them. And that includes, there's a little cave in this river of blood that people keep telling me to go back and check kind of incessantly. A little bit annoying if you ask me, but whatever. I got a plus 10 weapon now, so... What's up, dude? Oh, you died in two hits? That sucks. Okay, I got my hand lantern on. Going into the cave. There's a guy with a Gatling gun here, so we're just gonna have to deal with him. up. Okay, he healed up too. Here we go. He's dead. Now, are you a special hunter? Oh, I got, I got the Gatling gun. Nice, bro. And there's a couple other things in here too. Twin bloodstone shards. Okay, that's not... That's not that exciting. Oh, Snatcher. Oh wait, no, not a Snatcher. It's one of these guys. From Old Yarnum. Oh, one of the beasts. <laughs> it's been a while. Hey, man. Oh wait, no, they're, they're all over Hunter's Nightmare. What am I talking about? I forgot. Honestly, I forgot that they were even here. Hey, fella. There's actually... There's actually more of this cave than I thought. No way. It's, there's a blood-starred beast. You can't be serious, okay. Logarius's wheel, actually, not what I wanted. Um. Okay, yeah. I got you, bro. Let's, uh, let's get out of here, actually. I did not know that there was gonna be a blood-starved beast in here. 
Are you kidding me? <laughs> okay. Take Lagarius' wheel out of here. Get the world gig saw out. Okay, here we go. I just wanted serrated damage on the beast, you know? It's so dark in here too, dude. Alright. Let's get this. What is this right here? Bloodstone chunk? Okay. So there he is. Can you come up here? I can't tell. It's so dark. Hello. Yeah, it has been a while, dude. Alright, I lost him. There we go. You seriously gave me like 2,000 Blackos for killing Bloodstarred Beast again? That guy was a boss! Now he's just a regular enemy? I can't believe that. A Migdalen arm. Okay. We got a couple things we gotta check out. A Migdalen arm. The arm of a small amygdala great one. Strictly speaking, the amygdalan arm is no trick weapon of any sort, but certain madmen wield them like clubs. And actually, I think in the last video, we saw Madman Waller with this weapon. I was wondering what it was. It starts as a large, tough, blunt weapon formed of bone, but when extended, the hand quivers as if it were still alive. And this is actually a pretty good strength weapon. Yeah, it's got C scaling right off the bat. I mean, we can't get to plus nine, so what's the point? Gatling gun. This is a highly customized portable version of the stand, uh, sorry, stationary Gatling gun operated by the old hunter de Jura in Old Yarnum. That's the guy that we tossed off the building. It was the weapon of choice of the youngest of de Jura's uh, three companions. Oh. The Gatling gun boasts exceptional rapid firing functionality, but is considered a cumbersome weapon due to its excessive weight and insatiable consumption of Quicksilver bullets. All right, we probably won't be using it then. By the way, I do have the cannon to plus six. People were asking about that. I don't know why. Uh, yeah. Let's, uh, so that's all that's in this cave. Hope everyone's curiosity is sated now. It was actually bigger than I thought it would be. So, kudos. Oh, oh, oh. I don't know, I don't know what I thought it would be. <laughs> it's a bloodstone chunk. Ooh, I actually don't have enough. Twin bloodstone shards to even get it to plus six. Here, I'll show you. Sorry, this is most unhelpful. I'm sure. There. I, I I can only get to plus five. So actually, you know, for all the complaining and belly aching that I do about like, ooh, twin bloodstone shards, maybe I should be on the lookout for those because they could help me. All right. Um. Now there's one other area that I need to go to to wrap things up. It's a Nightmare of Mensis, I want to say... It's around here. It, we gotta go back to the place with the Winter Lanterns, because there's a place where you drop down, and there was some stuff that I didn't get in there, apparently. There was a room that I didn't fully explore. And it's because I unknowingly dropped down after the brain thing fell, and I just didn't think to go back. But we'll go back and see what's there. All oh, right, no quicksilver bullets. Okay, why is Frenzy still going up? Yeah, now it's going down. All right. <laughs> also, I apologize, I sincerely apologize for saying that you guys overhyped these guys because I, I have zero insight. So there's no Frenzy scaling. Although remember, I did face off against one of these things in the Nightmare Frontier. So, it's not like it's just completely... Like, this is my only time ever facing them. Wow. She stays out of range. It's weird, she stays out of range. When you gear up for a strong attack sometimes? That's like weirdly smart. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do about it? 
You know what I should probably do? I should probably get like a sedative or something. Here you go. That'll make you guys happy. See, I took I took a freaking sedative. Are you happy now? There you go. And here, I'll take another one. Screw it, right? You get like 10,000 blood echoes for those things. That's crazy. These spiders keep dropping Quicksilver bullets. What are y'all clutching onto bullets for? You don't have guns. This is the room right here. Okay, let's do it. Where are we right now? Oh my god. Are we over the spider room? Or no? Oh no, this is like the big central room, right? With those little baby things. Here we go. What's in here? What is this? It's in a chest. It must be important. Choir bell? I wanna know what that is. Is that some PvP stuff or multiplayer? Oh, it's an arcane weapon. Or sorry, a hunter tool. Special hunter tool of the choir, high-ranking members of the church. Um, fashioned after a bell that projects an arcane sound across planes of existence. The sound of this smaller, silver version of the bell does not cross planes, but grants vigor and healing to all cooperators. Oh. Nice, I think. And I think that's all that's in here. Except for these spiders. Yeah, weirdly, these spiders that apparently ingest bullets all day long. Yeah, that's all that was in here. Okay. Well, cool, I'm glad I got it, I guess. Uh, where's that bullet hunter's mark? I skipped past it. Let's go... spend. 38 strength. And, uh, I don't think I have any more cold blood to use. No. I do not. Okay, so we just got 40k blood echoes just sitting there. Great. Uh, what should I buy? And we'll buy 56 blood vials. Cool. I've got 119 in storage. You think that'd be enough? Let's, uh... Yeah, okay, what am I doing? Alright, enough stalling. Let's go fight this boss. The one that everyone's bowing down to. Oh! I didn't even see this. Who's this? No way. Okay. I was about to say, this is kind of a long trek from the lighthouse hut lamp. I think I know exactly what this is then. Yep, okay. Shortcut activated. So, we can go straight from this lamp Oh, 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 there's a thingy. King Cold Blood, nice. Okay. <laughs> could've used that earlier, actually. I could've gotten, uh, I could've gotten an extra point. All right. And then, yeah, okay, this makes way more sense. I was about to say, like, it's, it's taken me forever to get to this boss. Okay, this is just to make me feel better. That's right. Where's your god now? Okay. Hey, this is that thing. Oh. That's that thing that I saw from up there. Big fishy thing. That thing gave birth. This thing just crawled out of the womb.
Orphan of Kos. Oh, oh, you guys have mentioned this one before. He seems friendly. Well, let's see if we can get a sneak attack on him. Oh, nope. We can't. All right. Hello there. You know what? I didn't even look at the moon earlier, but... Oh, you're freaking out, huh? He's mad. He's angry. So that thing is cost then. Cost. Or some say. Cause them. So that's that big monster on the beach. And this thing's the orphan of cost. How come I didn't hear about cost until like literally last video? And now all of a sudden it just happens to like, oh hey, here's the orphan of cost. And that thing outside of the the fishing hamlet was talking about costs too. They mentioned him the entire game. Am I wrong? Has th have there been mentions and I've just completely missed them? Seems like an important character now in the end game. Okay. Okay, here we go. Oh. Give me my blood echoes. It's not actually that many. So he's not aggressive at first. Okay, I gotta figure out your moves. Oh, whoa. Oh, you can sling it around, huh? That's right. Oh, what do you think about that? But, uh, yeah, I'll take it. Okay, okay. I need to watch out for that. That's a shitty attack. Wonder. Bolt paper. Second form? Okay. So you got new moves? Ow. Okay, he's crazy. He's a crack fiend. I missed that.
fuck. Slaughtered, hell yeah. Cost Parasite. Trophy earned Orphan of Cost. Okay. He was nuts. Not as tough as Lawrence, though. IMO. So what is this? Oh. Oh. Is that... him? Can I interact with it? Well, wait, let's take a look at the Cost Parasite. Or is it when the carcass of Koss washed up on the coast, its insides were teeming with tiny parasites, unlike any found in humans. This atypical weapon can only be clasped tight and swung, but a Koss parasite is said to stimulate phantasms inhabiting a lumen wood. Uh, I like understood maybe half of that. So this is an arcane weapon. It's an A arcane weapon. Ooh, so if you went arcane build? This thing has got, like, S scaling. Does it go above S? This thing probably gets S at, like, plus three or something. Damn. Is he... Was that, like, the final boss of the DLC? Because this kind of seems like it. Uh, yeah. Because I didn't get any, like, key items or anything, and... Alright, I, I want to see what you guys are doing. Oh, y'all still bowing down, huh? They ain't here anymore. I guess it's time to slaughter every single one of you, huh? <laughs> okay, I, I won't kill every single one of them. I I just killed most of them. They've learned their lesson now. They worshipped a false god. Whew. All right, well, if that's the end of the DLC, that was great. I really liked Orphan of Kos. Fun boss. Um, yeah, yeah, you guys talked about... I... I, I <laughs> I didn't see much about Orphan of Cost in the comments. I just saw, like, Orphan of Cost. Dot, dot, dot. Very dramatic. Oh, good hunt on any oh, wait. other night. He'd be restless. But on this night, he sounds so very calm. Perhaps something has eased his suffering. Oh, she was talking about Garmin. Well. She, she said that Garmin was, um, resting soundly or whatever. Alright, let's get 39 strength. Uh, but I gotta say, that- that fight, I don't know if I just got lucky or what. Probably you guys are gonna tell me I got lucky. But that was not as hard as Lawrence, in my opinion. Lawrence was crazy hard. It's just called Coast. That lighthouse. Okay, well let me tell you what we're gonna be doing in the next video. Cause I know you're curious. So I'm planning on having the next video be the end. Part 20 is going to be the final Bloodborne video. And in that video, we're going to just blaze through the rest of the game because I have a pretty good idea of what's left. I know that there's the final boss of Nightmare of Mensis, which I think we're pretty close to. And then there's some, um, there's going to be some umbilical cords that I'm going to have to do something with. And then there's like secret bosses. Uh, and I don't really know much other than that, but I think we can do it in one video just from what's been described. Because I don't think there's any more areas that are unlocked. So that's my plan for the next video. It'll basically just be a boss rush, and then the ending, whatever ending I get. Uh, I'll try to do the one that gives me like the most experience, I guess. The the big, the widest experience. <laughs> the biggest, widest experience, as that one NPC says. All right, so let me know what you guys uh, thought about this video and this playthrough overall. Hope to see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Think critically.